Well, a confusing message from the Capital Area Rural Transportation System, that's known as CARTS. What started as a notice of some service cuts turned into an announcement of service reduction. KXAN's Lauren Kravitz sorts out the confusion. This is how Catherine Weston Mims gets around these days after having two strokes. My kidneys have failed and I have to go to dialysis so I can continue to live. Since Catherine can't drive, she relies on carts buses to take her to her appointments, something she was told was ending. I received a call on Tuesday about midday advising me that as of January 4, which would be Monday, that we were no longer, carts would no longer be available for transportation. When we called carts this morning, we were told the same thing. Find the new schedule. However, Catherine also received this notice saying rides would only be available on Tuesdays and Thursdays. After much confusion, CARTS told us late this afternoon that service from Pflugerville to Austin is not ending, but will be reduced. Buses to Maynard and Del Valley will also be limited. The general manager of CARTS tells me they're still providing rides in rural areas that have urbanized, even though funding from Travis County has remained the same. CARTS says when they asked the county for an extra $300,000, they said no, forcing them to cut services. Catherine isn't happy with the short notice. We needed at least a month to prepare because many of us don't have other riders. Now she's left trying to figure out how she'll get to appointments that help keep her alive. I have to change over. Lauren Kravitz, KXAN News. Well, we did reach out to the county today, haven't heard back. Last fiscal year, CARTS provided nearly 400,000 passenger trips, about 8,000 of those originating in Pflugerville. The CARTS district covers 7,200 miles over nine counties, including parts of Bastrop, Blanco, Burnett, Caldwell, Fayette, Hayes, Lee, Travis, and Williamson counties, and the city of San Marcos. It's governed by a 10-member board, one from each county and one from the San Marcos City Council.